Hello and welcome back to another video. It's your boy Shin Mentakizo and today we're going to talk about Sun's rework in this hero review. Please don't copy strike me. So Sun has been out of the meta since forever, right? I don't remember a season where everyone's fighting over who's gonna use this monkey and I don't recall him getting banned ever in ranked games. Unless someone's trolling, of course. So Moonton decided to rework this poor guy so that people would start using him. But the question is, did they do the right thing? Okay, so before we begin talking about his skills, let's take a quick look at his preview model. I hope they're stronger than me. It's about time they remade his model. This current one we have in the original server looks worse than my thumbnail drawings. So yeah, looking pretty cool with his default skin and this uh, Buddha, Buddha bless you skin, right? Now let's play a game and talk about his new reworked skills. So his passive is now called Simeon God. At all times, Sun generates this armor reduction aura around him and his clones. The armor reduction is 8% and you can stack it up up to 3 times, meaning if Sun can get himself and 2 other clones close enough to an enemy, their armor can be reduced by 24%. So this is great especially if you're trying to kill tanky enemies and Malefic Roar might also help in further increasing your damage. The bad thing about this is you don't get free clones anymore by auto attacking and having a clone out all the time is Sun's signature, his one good trait. It helps him farm fast, it makes him a threat to unguarded enemy towers, and it helps him win a lot of 1v1 matchups. So since we're talking about his clone already, let's talk about his skill 1. His skill 1 is called Endless Variety. He throws his long rod in a line in front of him and deal damage to anyone it slaps along the way. Aside from that, anyone hit will have their movement speed reduced by 60%. Now this is his exact same previous skill, but they now added an effect where if you hit an enemy hero or a jungle monster with this skill, you get a clone. And the clone will spawn where the enemy hero or the jungle monster is. Clones only deal 40% damage of Sun's damage and they only last 5 seconds but this, this is how Moonton expects you to have clones all the time now by using skills not auto attacking. Maxing skill 1 puts this skill down to an 8 second cooldown and if you get a maximum cooldown reduction of 40% via items and emblems, you should be able to cast this skill every 4.8 seconds. So less than the duration of the clone which is 5 seconds. So you can definitely generate clone or another clone before the other one you casted disappears. So yeah, if you still like to have clones all the time as sun, you would now have to pay mana and also get cooldown reduction items. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but his new skill too is something I can definitely say as bad. Remember the times when you're using sun and you can dash whenever you please, wherever you please, if you want to chase enemies or if you want to escape? Well, now you can't. You can't do that all the time now. Sun's new skill too is called instantaneous move and it is still a dash skill. But you cannot dash without targeting an enemy. Yes, this skill is more of a gap closer now and less of an escape skill. You dash and damage the enemy you target and gain movement speed bonus for a few seconds. So why is this bad? First, and I repeat again, you can't use this skill whenever you want. You need to have a target. A jungle monster, a minion, enemy hero. Second, the range is way way shorter now compared to his previous dash range. Which is really absurd. I mean, you, you can't really chase Sun after he spins away. So this makes it harder for our monkey boy to chase people. And even more harder to escape ganks when you're trying to split push a lane. Which is one of his specialties. And now moving on to his ultimate clone techniques. It is simply his same old ultimate with less clones. Yes. Instead of getting two clones, you now only get one clone when you ult. The only thing I like about this is if you time your ult properly, you can dodge almost every skill or stun. Just like Chao, just like Martis. But yeah, you take no damage at all. So Sun disappears for a split second and comes back out with a clone that lasts 12 seconds. And it does not cost any mana. 
so you can cast it even at zero mana. At max level of this skill, the clone also do 100% of your damage, so it's like having double damage once you use it. But just like before, you're not gonna fool anyone who the real son is with your clones because the game has this built-in auto attack hero targeting system, right? So they're still gonna be attacking the real you. So I think it's not so bad. You can build max cooldown and you'll be able to cast this skill every 16 seconds late game. The clone lasts 12 seconds so I guess this is another way you can have a clone by your side almost all the time. And again, it costs 0 mana to cast your ult. But I still don't get why they only put one clone in his ult. The clone still takes more damage than Sun and dies easily. So anyone or any enemy with AoE skills like area skills can eliminate your clone easily. But it's also good that they didn't remove the healing effect when your clones hit um, hit enemies with basic attacks. And that's good. So what do I think about all of this? It's not, it's not the best rework. I'm sure you agree, but I'm gonna say it's not bad. Is it better than the previous sun? I'll have to say yes, because now you can deal more damage with the armor reduction passive you have, and you might feel bad about not having the old passive where when you basic attack you produce clones, but you won't be really missing your clones since you'll have no problem spamming your ult all game since it costs no mana, and if you build enough cooldown reduction, you can almost have three clones at all times if you cast your skill one and ult all the time. I guess what they're trying to do with Sun now is to have him rely more on his skills in, in getting clones out rather than his auto attacks since they moved his clone production to skill one from the previous auto attacking in the passive. Also, if you're trying to split push or if you plan on still split pushing with the reworked sun, be more careful since you'd have to have a target to use your dash to escape. So probably dash over walls to jungle monsters or something to escape ganks. You also get a speed boost after using your dash skill so that should help you escape. I rate this sun rework banana out of 10. And again, my name is Shinman Takizo. This has been Hero Review. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Since this is so, it's better to accept it.